We'll be showing you how to install the leech tapes. Our leech tapes will accommodate a leech line. For this sale, we'll be installing a leech line. Here at the reef point, the leech line cleat will go 15 to 18 inches above the reef point. There are different types of leech line cleats. Uh, this is the uh, clam cleat that we're installing here and notice it's a little bit angled. She marks the position for that uh, cleat and will now position a Dacron tape along the edge where that cleat will rest. The leech line will uh, come out of a taped sleeve approximately one to two inches above the cleat so we want to make sure we have a covering for that. She's marked it with the pencil line and underneath the cleat we want enough uh, opening that we can actually draw the leech line tight so about eight inches down below. We want to cover past those two points so approximately an inch or two above the cleat and approximately eight inches below the cleat. Here's the uh, cleat and here's the couple inches above and about eight inches below. And Notice it's all covered with a Dacron tape. We'll do the same procedure at the clue. The cleat will be approximately 15 to 18 inches from the corner and we mark it and then we want to cover all the way down a couple inches obviously above the cleat with another Dacron tape. Obviously your leech line will stop here so you don't have to worry about uh, where it will enter the sleeve again at the extreme corner of the clue. We uh, put the Dacron tape on using double-sided tape and then carefully baste it along the edge of the sail. And then we'll trim it to size. Along the leech we'll install the Dacron tape. This Dacron tape has been folded or creased in the middle. We've applied double-sided tape on both sides and then baste it to the leech. Here we're starting at the head of the sail. You'll notice that we did not peel the transfer tape off the basting tape on the top side of the Stacron tape. We're going to baste that later on when we put the leech line into the sleeve. So we've only basted the bottom portion of the Stacron tape in place. Now we'll take the leech line and we'll put a strip of basting tape here near the head approximately an inch down from the head so it doesn't interfere with the headboard that will be installed later on. And we'll secure that leech line here. To prevent the leech line from moving on us while we take it over to the sewing machine and sew this head portion down, we'll use the double-sided tape and then apply the leech line over the top of the double-sided sticky tape. Creating a loop that's approximately three to four inches long. Enough so that we can sew it down and secure it. You always want to check with the headboard on a mainsail to make sure there's room for the headboard to sit flat and there is. Now we'll peel off the uh, transfer paper on top of the basting tape along this Dacron tape and baste it in position over the leech line. As we continue to baste this uh, Dacron tape over the leech, we want to be sure that the leech line is sandwiched into the uh, fold that we created in the tape. And we definitely want to pull out any of those webbing straps if you've inserted them into the pocket and then lay them so they lay underneath the sail. So you can install the Dacron leech tape without it interfering. You can see on this uh, batten pocket that the webbing that has velcro on it that is inserted in the pocket has been pushed back away from the sail edge. Continue all the way down the length of the sail. And now we're coming to where that leech line cleat is at the reef of the sail. Remember we did that work previously. We're going to cut a half inch past that pencil line mark that we placed on the sail. We'll create a hem here. This is where the leech line will exit the sleeve, about one inch to two inch above the cleat that we'll install later on. Before we continue, we're going to sew that hem. So we're just going to sew the end of the stack on tape with a stitch just to keep that hem in place. And then we'll continue to baste the remainder of the Dacron tape along the leech.
will now take a second length of uh, Dacron tape and create a hem on the end of it. Same procedure. We'll sew the hem prior to installing the tape to the edge. We'll then install it approximately 8 inches down from that uh, cleat that we'll install later. And continue to insert the leech line in the sleeve. If you had a closed clam cleat, you would need to install that prior to continuing on installing the leech line in the sleeve. If you had a different clam cleat here, you'd have to put that on right now if there wasn't a wide opening on it. And here we are at the clue. We'll do the same procedure. Cut a half inch from the mark, create a hem, and then continue the leech line down the sleeve. We'll not show all of this. Here we are back at the head of the sail and we're going to cut off that excess tape and we're going to secure that leech line at the head. We're going to sew through this with a zigzag to secure that about four inch tail or loop of leech line underneath this uh, Dacron tape. Remember this is a lot of Dacron here. You've got the whole corner patch assembly, you have the Dacron tape, and you have the leech line that you're sewing through. So do this carefully. Most sewing machines don't like to sew through this amount of thickness, especially when there's a leech line in the middle of the foot. Putting the machine in straight stitch is another uh, way of accomplishing this task. Most sewing machines can sew a straight stitch in thicker assemblies easier than a zigzag, but uh, just go over it thoroughly so that everything's locked in place. Once the leech line is secured, we'll just sew along the edge of the Dacron tape all the way down its length with the zigzag stitch. Be sure you do not sew the leech line. Keep the leech line into the crease of the Dacron tape. You want to just sew the extreme edge or raw edge of the tape all the way down its length. We'll skip ahead and show you where we come to one of the full battens here. Make sure that your webbing strap is pushed underneath the sail away from where the sewing machine will sew and just continue sewing. Now we'll skip ahead and come to where the reef point starts. Here's where that leech line exits the uh, tape and then continues on where we will install a cleat for the leech line. We'll do some reversing here to lock it in place. We have not sewn on that excess piece of Dacron tape yet, so Deb positions the sail so that she can sew along that edge as well. She'll reinsert the leech line into the sleeve and rebaste the sleeve over the top since it seems like it came loose and continue sewing. Make sure you do a little bit of reversing there at the beginning of the stitching of the sleeve. Go all the way down to the clue corner. Here we are at the clue corner and Jeb's just repositioning things to make sure they're in the right spot and she finishes it off with some reverse stitching here. She'll also sew down the length all the way to the clue corner because that tape that we installed previously has not been yet sewn down. That's all there is to it. No need to reverse here because we'll have a Dacron tape go over the foot edge. 